Hello geniuses, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about logarithmic functions, but don't worry, we'll start with something simple you've already learned and then work our way up to logarithms. Let's jump right in. Remember in primary school when we learned about addition? Let's say you have a number in mind, you add five and you get eight. So what was the number you had originally? To figure that out, we do the opposite of adding five, which is subtracting five from the answer. So we take 8, subtract 5, and we get 3. Simple, right? That's how addition and subtraction are opposites. Now there's another pair of opposite operations. Let's say you had a number in mind, you divided it by 3, and you got 5. What was the original number? To figure it out, we do the opposite. We multiply 5 by 3, and we get 15. So multiplication and division are also opposites. In secondary school, we learned a new operation, powers. For example, you take a number, square it, and get 49. What's the original number? Here we use the opposite operation of squaring, which is taking the square root. The square root of 49 is 7, so the original number is 7. In this case, powers and roots are opposites. Now, let's step it up a notch. Imagine you have the number 2, and you raise it to some power, and the result is 32. But here's the question. What power did you use? To find the power, we need to do the opposite. In our case, we ask, what power of 2 gives 32? The answer is 5, because 2 to the power of 5 is 32. That's where logarithms come in. Instead of writing the whole question, mathematicians came up with a shorthand, log. When we'd write log base 2 of 32, this means what power of 2 gives 32? So basically, a logarithm answers the question, what is the power of a base to get a specific number? For example, if we see log base 3 of 9, this means, what is the power of base 3 to get 9? We know that 3 squared is 9, so the answer is 2. Simple. Now, let's practice with a few examples. I'll give you a moment to think about the answers. log base 5 of 125. The base is 5, and we want to know what power of 5 gives us 125. We know 5 cubed is 125, so the answer is 3. Log base 2 of 128 means what power of 2 gives us 128? The answer is 7 because 2 raised to the power 7 is 128. Log base 7 of 49. What power of 7 gives us 49? The answer is 2, because 7 squared is 49. Logarithms with base 10 are called common logarithms, and they're used a lot. Here we ask, what power of 10 gives us 1 million? The answer is 6, because 10 raised to the power 6 is 1 million. And that's it. Logarithms are just a way to figure out what power of a base gives you a certain number. So next time you see a logarithm, remember, it's just asking for the power. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more math tutorials.